What's up, gamers? This is Steph, PlayStation Gamer. So, today I just want to do a little, I guess you would say, thought video here, just because this is kind of my unfiltered, dumb thoughts going through the microphone, and hopefully, you guys can understand what I'm saying here. But, <laughs> um, I feel like Starfield is already getting forgotten about. Now, what I mean by that is, you know, the player count's still pretty damn high up there, especially for a single player game. But I think the conversation has definitely shifted away from being pretty positive about the game to being kind of mixed. Now, listen, I perfectly well admit this is coming from a guy who has not played Starfield, has no intentions of playing Starfield. Because I'm playing the shit out of Baldur's Gate and Cyberpunk lately. And then once Spider Man 2 comes out, you know I'm going for that fucking platinum. <laughs> so it's like, I feel like the biggest problem for Starfield really is the release schedule. The, it, it got smushed between two big games that just like, honestly, just do it better. Like, uh, you go look, play Cyberpunk now, it's, yeah, it's still got its problems. It's still got glitches here and there. But it's like a way better version of the game we were promised. So it was like, Wow, this is actually a fun game to play. This is actually now the cyberpunk we all wanted. And Baldur's Gate 3, do I even have to talk about how great Baldur's Gate 3 is? Like how that might be easily the game of the year. The game that will actually have a chance of topping Terrace of the Kingdom. And then you got Starfield kind of in the middle. It's like, Starfield's not a bad game, but it's not great either. It doesn't do anything exceptionally well. But it also doesn't do anything that's different. Like, if you've played a Bethesda game, you've played Starfield. You know exactly what you're playing. Like, almost to a T. And just, the limitations this game has, I feel like get amplified by the fact that there is a game made by a smaller studio, with a significantly smaller budget, run by a significantly smaller company, and yet it's outdone them in every capacity. Like, when you think about it, Baldur's Gate 3 is essentially what Starfield should have been. Starfield promises, you know, these rich, expansive worlds. And most people I've heard talk about the game say the worlds are just boring as hell. The quest lines are just boring. They're super generic. There's, it feels like there's no love put in this game. And... Yeah, yeah, I think the problem is because it got really so close to another other game, it got amplified. It got amplified to the point it's like, yeah, but Baldur's Gate 3 does it better. Hell, you don't even have to look at Baldur's Gate 3 specifically. Look at The Witcher 3 and like how that game handles, you know, cutscenes and stories and characters. Just Starfield just feels like such a significant downgrade compared to games that actually have a lot of passion put behind it and cyberpunk making that phoenix story is kind of crazy the game went from being hated by most people to actually being loved by a lot of people this game actually made a comeback and it has a similar gameplay style to starfield except it's way better because you can handle things in different you know ways you want to be quick and you know stealthy you can do that you want to be all about the tech and, you know, just, you know, hacking everyone and, you know, doing the quick hacks and, you know, reducing their health while you're shooting at them with power pistols. You could do that. Starfield just doesn't have that level of depth to it. And again, it keeps going back to the fact it was, it's being amplified by games that are just doing it better around the same time. And I'm sorry, man, far as, and this is going to make me sound like a pony here, okay? 100% self-acknowledgement. This makes me sound like a pony. But Starfield ain't got shit on Spider-Man, okay? Like, come on, man. Look at these games. And it's like, which one looks like it actually cares about telling a good story? Which one feels like something that is like every Spider-Man's fan's wet dream? I mean, obviously, you know, if that's the case. But it's it's the game we wanted for the longest time. We got Venom. We got Kraven the Hunter. We're going to have Miles' story continue. We're potentially going to have Black Cat in this fucking game, I heard. Just, it's crazy. Like, the, this is like the, the, the game of Spider-Man fans wanted for the longest time. And Starfield's like, oh yeah, 
just another Bethesda game. And listen, at the end of the day, these are two completely different juggernauts. These are two completely different types of games. If you like Starfield, go ahead. Like Starfield. But it's like, let's not argue about the quality here because one of them does look significantly better. And the fact that Spider-Man is going to have three different graphics modes, while Starfield only has one, and that's 30 FPS, is fucking unacceptable in my opinion, man. Okay? Just, yeah. So that's just kind of my rant here. Like, Starfield's not a bad game. It's not a great game either. It's just in the middle. It's just stuck in the middle. It's stuck in the middle between Baldur's Gate and Cyberpunk. And as far as, like, the console exclusive games, fuck, dude, you know it's going to get destroyed by Spider-Man. Fuck, it'll get destroyed by the, the, the Horizon Forbidden West Complete Edition coming to PC. Like, ah, uh, just... Both of those games, by the way, Starfield and Horizon Forbidden West, are aggressively mid. But at least I can admit that Horizon Forbidden West does have some cool stuff to it. I don't know. This is just me ranting and rambling. Maybe I sound like a PlayStation fanboy here, but I just, I'd rather be honest with you guys. And I feel like this game, Starfield, should have just, <laughs> I hate to say it because people hate this. I felt like it should have been pushed back. I felt like this game should have been pushed back to maybe maybe early as let's see january february so i would say probably february or january because if it wouldn't come out of such a busy time maybe so many of these problems wouldn't have been amplified maybe it wouldn't have been so noticeable but until next time peace out have a good day don't forget to like comment subscribe and all youtube rather than bs